Welcome to the Word Exposed. Together, let us receive the Lord who embraces us through the unfolding of the sacred scripture. Stay with us and feel the outpouring of His steadfast love. In the Gospel for today, we hear a portion of Jesus' farewell discourse to His disciples where He describes the intimate relationship of His disciples with Him and with the Father. Jesus promises that an advocate, the Holy Spirit, will be sent to remind His disciples, including us, of all He has taught and to bring us peace. Friends, as our Easter celebration nears its end, here is a wonderful thought to reflect on. The risen Lord stays with us through the Holy Spirit. He is our peace. According to Jesus, the Holy Spirit will not invent new truth. The Holy Spirit will lead us to the truth that Jesus has already taught. When you have the Holy Spirit, you can speak and explore different languages to address people of different needs. Barriers and boundaries of discrimination, division, and injustice should disappear. The diversity of the gifts should not be a hindrance to the strengthening of the church. God chooses all. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Some who had come down from Judea were instructing the brothers, unless you are circumcised according to the Mosaic practice, you cannot be saved. Because there arose no little dissension and debate by Paul and Barnabas with them, it was decided that Paul, Barnabas, and some of the others should go up to Jerusalem to the apostles and elders about this question. The apostles and elders, in agreement with the whole church, decided to choose representatives and to send them to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. The ones chosen were Judas, who was called Barsabbas, and Silas, leaders among the brothers. This is the letter delivered by them. The apostles and the elders, your brothers, to the brothers in Antioch, Syria, and Cilicia of Gentile origin. Greetings, since we have heard that some of our number who went out without any mandate from us have upset you with their teachings and disturbed your peace of mind. We have with one accord decided to choose representatives and to send them to you along with our beloved Barnabas and Paul who have dedicated their lives to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So we are sending Judas and Silas, who will also convey the same message by word of mouth. It is the decision of the Holy Spirit and of us not to place on you any burden beyond these necessities, namely, to abstain from meat sacrificed to idols, from blood, from meats of strangled animals, and from unlawful marriage. If you keep free of these, you will be doing what is right. Farewell. The Word of the Lord. Our first reading for this Sunday comes from the Acts of the Apostles. This Sunday, we would like to reflect on the theme of peace, peace in our hearts, peace in our community, coming from our intimate relationship with God. Now, in the first reading, we find the early Christian community now in a rather divisive situation. There was dissension and controversy, and the peace of mind of the Christian community in Antioch was quite disturbed. Now, how did this come about? There was a group of uh, believers, they were called the Judaizers, meaning they wanted all the disciples of Christ to follow strictly the precepts of the Mosaic Law. In other words, they want the followers of Christ to be good 
Jews in order to become good disciples of Christ. And so they imposed on especially the non-Jewish uh, faithful the Jewish practices of circumcision and the observance of dietary laws. Now, this went counter to the vision of Paul, of Barnabas. And so they decided to go to Jerusalem and meet with the apostles, with Cephas, and with the leaders and uh, members of the Jerusalem community. Now, this is not just an ordinary meeting. This is not a meeting uh, in order to settle a conflict alone. The conflict may have initiated the move or have given or has given the impetus for such a meeting. But what was at stake here was the identity of the Christian community, the identity of Christianity. Is Christianity simply a branch or is the Christian community simply a sect within Judaism? Or is it a, a way, in a way, connected to Judaism, but also something new and fresh? Now, based on the outcome of the meeting, we realize this. Yes, the Christian community, through the apostles, through the elders, and the members of the Jerusalem church, realized their rootedness in the Judaic traditions. But Christianity focused on faith in Jesus is quite unique. The only rule that applies here is your faith in Jesus and the love that you will have for your brothers and sisters, especially the poor. And this decision was reached, according to them, by discerning the will of the Holy Spirit. Now, here is an indication. How do we find peace in the community? We find peace by purifying our faith. What does it mean to believe in Jesus? What does it mean to be followers of Christ? It also involves discerning the will of the Holy Spirit for us. And it involves the openness to other people because Jesus is Savior of all. This is the path to peace. Entering Jesus' heart again. Entering the will of the Father to save all and entering the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. When we get to that, there will be peace. In this day and age, social networking has become a very convenient mode of communication among people. With just a click and the power of the internet, you are able to reach your loved ones wherever they are. On the other hand, it is saddening and alarming to know that there are some people who take advantage of the reach and availability of social networking sites, spreading scandals and false information about a certain entity or personality, engaging in fraud and scams, and at times pretending to be someone else. Recently, I have been getting reports that there are fan pages and personal accounts under my name and are circulating over Facebook. To set the record straight, I have no personal Facebook account. Rather, I have only one Facebook page and it is being maintained by Jesuit Communications. I seek your help in reporting fraudulent pages and accounts not only those concerned with myself, but also with other people and entities. Let us keep the social networking world a good communication venue by being truthful.